Amaze, hold on, where my camera at? Amaze Gomezzi. I came from University of Georgia. I was straight up out of that South Savannah, Georgia, baby. Nah, I'm talking to <laughs> Hello, 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 So like, how do you feel about the upcoming season? Like knowing that you're transferring from UGA to Jacksonville State, like what are you looking forward to for this season? I'm um, looking forward to accepting my role as a leader. I'm coming into a program that has always had a good basketball program. And me coming in, being an older guy now, I'm not an underclassman anymore, I'm an upperclassman. I'm gonna come in and try to show what I learned at the high major level and bring it to this level. And uh, just going out, going there every day with the right mindset to lead the players, lead by example, not just talk, vocal as well. I just want to go out here and just change change the culture in a sense. I feel like Jacksonville State has a great opportunity. We got a great coach staff to really be a great team, not just in the conference, but in the nation. So I just want to go out there with that mindset every night. We're recording, but today all he's doing is he's getting on one of the machines and they're just doing straight cardio for like 30 minutes. Okay. That's the warm up. <laughs> oh, no, sir. It's 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 
So if you could say that your game is based off of like one or two or three maybe players in the NBA, who can you say? Uh, looking back on film and seeing how I move and stuff and the way I'm trying to get my game now, I'm trying to simplify my game and shorten up the dribbles. I'd probably say a Syracuse, Carmelo, Anthony, just because I like to get to the elbow and I like to create separation to get my shot off and I feel like he utilizes the dribbles to get to the cup and get the buckets that he needed and I feel like that's what that's the way I'm going about things this year. Just going to try to get the easy buckets like Carmelo. Another player you can kind of say, uh, I like Anthony Davis. This is ability to shoot mid-range and ability to stretch out the court. He played guard in middle school and high school, so his ability to put the ball on the floor, I kind of favor that. And another player that I'm starting to look at and study their game, Pascal Siakam. That's the three I'd probably say. Syracuse, Carmelo, Anthony Davis, and Pascal Siakam.
who's your favorite NBA player of all time and why? My favorite NBA player of all time is Kobe Bryant. It's just the animal and the way he attacks the defender. That's how I feel about anybody in front of me. I just, something just clicks in me. I just feel like I just got score on him. It's too easy. That's how I feel like Kobe played the game. So out of your college career so far, what do you feel like is your favorite highlight? 
proud that when I went baseline versus Georgia Tech. That's a big rivalry game we were at Georgia Tech. I went baseline, dunked the ball, caught a tech two game, <laughs> two plays later. <laughs> you bet on that. So, in your basketball game, what do you feel like, what do you think is the strongest part of your game and what is something that you think you need to work on? I definitely feel like the strongest part of my game is my versatility. Uh, I can score from the perimeter, I can score inside, mid-range, I'm working on that. I can shoot that pretty good at consecutive rate. Uh, something I feel like I could work on, to me, I feel like I'm a good defender, but to be able to go to that next, that next level, I have to be a great defender. So my ability to guard out on the wing, to switch out on guards, and my ability to be able to still go down and be able to bang the big man. So I have to be able to be better on the defensive end. So like, whether you believe so or not, I'm pretty sure that you're a role model to some kids back in Savannah. And like, I was wondering like, what is your message to them? Like, what do you have to say to them for them to stay motivated and to try to get where you have gotten in your life? Just learn to accept criticism and understand that your mind can be the best thing about you or the worst thing about you. Your mental is the best part. Stay strong, stay in shape, but keep your mind strong, if that makes sense. When you get to college, it's gonna be the biggest mental game and the biggest mental challenge that you'll ever face. Physically, you can be in shape, you'll be able to make all the times, but mentally, it'll affect you. So just keep your mind together and never give up on yourself, and you'll be fine. Okay, with you being a D1 African-American athlete, how do you plan on using your voice, using your platform to speak on police brutality and racism that still goes on in today's world? Me being an African-American man, uh, every day I wake up and I think about those things. I just think about the families who have lost loved ones due to police brutality. And, um, I have been blessed enough to be in a situation where I have where I can still be a victim of that, but I have been blessed enough to be able to live my life where that hasn't occurred to me or any of my family members that I can think of, but for the loved ones that had went through that, I pray for them and I think about them all the time and I think about the ways that I can do my part to help my word be heard because I know that my platform is big and I know me being a Division One athlete. Some people can think it's all basketball, but no, I'm more than an athlete. LeBron James is a great role model to us that he uses his voice in a great way. So I just plan to get with my teammates and we get together and we can think of ways that we can voice our opinion and not just our opinion, just voice how we feel about everything that's going on in the world today because this is a time that we've we never seen anything like this before, but if we all come together, we'll get through it. So like, knowing that life moves like in a certain way, what is something that you would want to say to your younger self and what is something that you would want to say to your future self? If I had to say something to my younger self, I'd tell them to slow down and take your time. Slow down and take your time. Coming out of high school, I took one official visit, but I was booked for five. And I, I had to tell myself to slow down and sense, look around and see what's going on and then make your decision. I was just so eager and happy to get out into that college world that I just, I let the best of my emotions get to me and I signed and committed right on the spot. And I, I should just, just slow down. I had to tell my younger self, slow down, slow down. And my older self, I had to tell myself to stay strong. There's a lot going on. Stay strong, keep your mental. And just keep me in yourself. My name is Amanza Gomez. Shout out Walk Talk with my friends. Black Lives Matter.